All right, so we're back with the only game where it breaks if you make the sun give off 10 bajillion degrees of heat. It's Universe Sandbox 2. Science and Universe Sandbox 2 are kind of an interesting thing because science is uh, kind of meant to be broken in this game. I'm not sure if black holes are meant to blow up, but you could do it here. And I want to see what happens when it happens. We need a decently sized black hole for this. We're going to go right in the middle, okay? This is like the medium sized shirt for black holes. It's only 1 million times the mass of the sun. And you may be saying to yourself, but Gray, the black hole didn't eat the sun. That looks freaking awesome. But don't worry, we're gonna make the we're gonna make the black hole eat up the sun and take its lunch money in a second. Hold on here. Okay, ready? Ass kicking of the sun in three, two, one. There you go. Before we blow up the black hole, I want to see if I can get everything kind of moving toward the center because that'll make the blowing up that much better. I don't actually know what happens when you blow up a black hole. I just know that you can do it in this game. Black hole victim. One. There we go. Grab your explode button here. Just get ready. So the idea here is to just speed things up enough to the point where the solar system is getting kind of jacked up. Okay, Mercury got jacked up really fast. Like, Mercury straight up left its orbit instantaneously. Venus, a little slower. Earth, a little slower. Is it just me or is Mars on fire? Hold on. Nope, it's just red. It's my fault. Mercury, no one loves you. I'm gonna let you die right now. I kind of want everything else to begin moving inward. As we get a, a bigger black hole for this, it'll probably work out slightly better. This is what happens when you screw with Detroit black hole. Uh, oh, the blowing up is so slow, it hasn't even happened yet. Oh, there we go. The black hole is glowing. This looks pretty awesome. It's kind of like the sun is coming back. See, the black hole ate the sun, but the sun didn't digest. It just stewed for a while, getting more and more pissed off until finally it got its retribution. I don't know how long it takes to blow up. It just ends up looking more and more awesome. So this is the inside of an exploding black hole. It's very yellow. I'll right, we'll go ahead and speed this up just a little bit more as the explosive black hole flames grow ever higher. I'm not sure. I mean, I guess since there's nothing else gravity wise that's going to be pulling the rest of our solar system, it'll just continue to go its own way. The cool thing was if you had a bunch of planets that were all orbiting at exactly the same distance and then you pulled it in with a black hole and then you blew the black hole up, I think they would all smash into one another. Okay. Not sure where the red spectrum's coming from here. It's gonna speed things up a little bit more. That's hot. That looks awesome. So there's black hole fragments. There's a secondary explosion. Don't know what the hell that's from. <laughs> it's just like a glowing bisected cheese doodle or something. Is that a is that a supernova? That's a Venus Nova remnant. What the hell did it do to Venus? What has it done to the middle of the solar system? It is. It's a legit supernova. We've caused a supernova. I don't think that happens every time. Oh, look, the, the Earth is at 3,000 degrees Celsius. Sorry again for destroying the Earth. What the hell is this? What is... The black hole is still possibly here? Is it sucking in the explosion? The explosion is, like, contained inside of the interior of the black hole. It looks kind of sweet. What the hell? Where'd the, where'd the black hole go? All right, the black hole's gone. Don't worry, everyone. The Earth is cooling off, so you'll be you'll be able to put your stuff back over there relatively soon. But move things a little bit faster. It almost looked like the Earth was gonna ping pong out of there, but instead, I guess it stayed. This Venus fragment, though, is still there, and it's 8.42 the mass of Jupiter. I'm whoa. Okay. I'm not totally sure how Venus obtained more and more power, like, and size. And <laughs> it's heating up again. I think it's because it's just resting inside of the supernova. So we blew up a black hole and somehow we ended up with a really, really big Venus. Oh, huh. Out of all the planets, Neptune survived. I mean, you know, air quotes survived. It's 3000 degrees Celsius right now. Kind of weird because the time that's passing, <laughs> it's a year and a half per second. And it's not cooling off. Okay, y'all ready for this? A ton of planets just perfectly orbiting a sun. It's so beautiful that I hate to ruin it. But that's what Universe Sandbox 2 is good for. All right, we're going for 10 million suns now. I would say it's going to eat the sun, but it's so big that you can't even see the sun. There we go. The light just went out. The frames per second is already at 26. 
because of how many planets there are. There we go. Okay, everything's getting pulled out of orbit. Now you gotta wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, stop. Right about here. Yes. Now, if we blow up this black hole, this is assuming it can blow up in time because the planets are probably moving really, really fast. If we blow this black hole up, it should either force everything here to fly away or bring everything in and then it'll all collide with one another. I don't really know. All right, explode in the darkness of space. One man seeks to ruin lives no matter what galaxy he goes to. I'm sorry, perfectly engineered solar system. There we go. Okay, there's the initial explosion. Oh, hold on. I gotta, I need to go follow one of these planets just to see what happens as we get right in on the explosion. This beautiful planet. I mean, it's 86 degrees Celsius right now and the sun is fragmenting. Whoa, what the hell? What is all this? What the hell is this? Oh, my computer. Oh, it's so sad right now. Oh God. Oh, the sound is crackling. And it is possible that we have reached a realm of the time-space continuum that we were never supposed to get to because I can't even see what's happening. The whole screen is just white. Let me back up. Maybe if I... You can't, I can't even, you can't even tell. What do you, what do you even, what do you even do here? I may have to get a smaller, oh, you can see everything. I'm wrong. It sounds like the devil, but you can kind of see what's going on. Let me speed things up a little bit more here. Okay, there's the preliminary explosion. I think that the supernovas are shooting all over the place. There's also black spherical sadness. Oh, it's all the planets. They became their own nova remnants. All the planets that made it to the middle. Yeah, all right around 3,000 degrees Celsius. You got some uh, tie-dye in the middle here. And then just a ton of nova remnants. It actually looks like a mushroom cloud. We're putting two terribly destructive forces together. <laughs> mushroom clouds and supernovas. I'm just gonna continue to speed things up here. Just try and figure out what the hell is going on. I don't want to be too close because the things it does to the audio, it's not healthy. Uh, it's, it's definitely not healthy for my ears. This is a pretty good painting right here though. I feel like our paintbrush of calm, soothing Bob Ross apocalyptic genocide uh, has worked really well here. Things are so bright that I can't believe how bright they are. If you back up a lot, it kind of looks like the rings of Saturn except for the fact that there's, you know, untold amounts of life that are getting broiled right now. Let me go ahead and uh, move things up a little bit faster. There we go. It's like you're watching something on Laserdisc. I have a feeling I saw this. This is like an entrance to, uh, to some 1980s movie. And you get a laser light show and everything. This is crazy. There's like one really, really bright chunk over there. I don't even know exactly what that is. Supernova is continuing to extend outward. I should say the supernovas the many, many supernovas that have been created from the various uh, planets. Keep moving. And this must be the main super, yeah, that's, that's the main supernova. So what is at the very, the very center? The radius of the supernova is 32 light. How far is this, what is this giant sun over here? Oh, it finally decided to calm down, Jesus. Keep everything moving. Supernova is continuing to expand. There's nothing to stop it. So I imagine just the, the radius will continue to get more and more. Yep. And across the entire universe, we now have the first universal laser light show. Okay, I feel like this is gonna hurt a lot more than the first thing that we did. I'm gonna put two black holes in on equidistant sides of the sun, and then I'm gonna blow those up. But I'm not gonna destroy the sun. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna let the black holes, the exploding black holes, do their thing. All right, two black holes, equidistant amounts from the sun. You can't really see the other one. <laughs> like, there's an outline over here. The other one's really, it's got urban camouflage, okay? Or space camouflage. You can kind of see the distortion of space slightly. All right, first things first. We need to let everything be sad. Oh, crazy. The sun got pulled two different ways. Look at it. The sun's being ripped from two different directions. <laughs> being stretched like a piece of freaking taffy down at the Jersey Shore. Okay, everything's starting to roll in. Oh, we've made like an eight. All right, so now it's time to blow this stuff up. Black hole, explode. Black hole two, explode. <gasps> okay, that happened a lot faster than I thought it would. Let me go ahead and continue to slow things down a little bit here. So there's the double black hole explosion. 
So now we have twice the supernovas. It appears like the supernovas are starting to pull toward one another. So the supernovas will be uh, mating in just a second here. Let me get up in here. I still don't know like what these weird pocket dimensions are that occur whenever we blow up the black hole. It's probably all the mass, all the things that the black hole had eaten in the past. It's all just coming to the surface because when you blow up the black hole, it's just vomiting everything out. I can see part of the sun in there. It's a lot cooler now. So that's nice, right? All these planets though are reaching 10,000 degrees Celsius. So they are all currently on fire. However, they got turned on fire so quickly that the picture of the planet has not yet updated to show its flaminess. Got another random explosion going back over here. The two supernovas now currently making love. Uh, the size of the supernova growing a lot. The luminosity of the supernova pretty bad. But if you take the luminosity down, like, what if we make it like one? Anything happen? I don't know, maybe. There's all kinds of bad stuff happening over here, though. See, if you look through the cloud of souls <laughs> that have been created from the destruction, you can see all of the flaming planets as they come in. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can speed things up a little bit. There's all the, Jesus. I was gonna say, there's all the planets passing through one another. I think they made it through the, uh, the Miami Turnpike over here decently I don't think a lot of them have interacted with each other okay that's cool I don't know what's going on over here but we've got tails of flame power whipping off of that I feel like we got more colors this time than we got last time I definitely feel like we have more it's kind of like the police so you got the red lights on one side the blue lights on the other they finally come to arrest me for all the murder that I've done in the universe at this point I'll let this go and like one last fragment finally decide to head on out of here. Who would have thought that a perfectly engineered solar system would be so fantastic to destroy? But now it's time to blow up a whole ton of black holes. Okay, I've got eight black holes equidistant surrounding the sun right now and we're gonna blow them all up. So first things first, I have to let the black holes do their thing. What's gonna happen to the sun when black holes are pulling it in eight different directions all at once it's crazy everything's getting dragged inward but the sun is basically staying where it is because everything is fighting for it at the same amount of of force i think that the sun should get ripped apart actually it may be getting ripped apart it's getting ripped apart in eight different directions i'm so proud of the sun <laughs> It's still hanging in there somehow. I don't know how. Okay, now things are getting close to the black hole, which means now it's time to blow all this up. And one of these, this, right there. Yeah. Okay. There we go. There's all the explosions. There goes my frame rate. <laughs> oh, oh God, did I miss one? Hold on. I may, I may have missed a... There we go. I was going to say, I may have missed a black hole in the explosion. Again, it's kind of hard to tell because they're so dark compared to everything around here. But now all the black holes have exploded and there is just stuff forming everywhere. Again, planets come out of nowhere. I don't even know where. Supernovas are shooting like buckshot across the screen at this point. They're just flying in all different directions. And these are the colors that we got going on now. Let me go ahead and speed things up as we do. Just to kind of, it can't go that fast. There is so much destruction going on over here. There we go. Now everything's moving along pretty friggin' sweet. Don't know what happened there. If something shattered into a billion pieces, normally you just have various supernovas like cutting each other off on the, on the, the, the turnpike over here. Something turned into a gaseous orb. And at the middle, there's still a lot of something going on here. It's just a crisscross of laser lights. It's like being at a freaking Prince concert or something. Let me just continue to do this. And there goes all the supernovas. Okay. So yeah, blowing up a black hole. Fantastic. It takes everything that's good in this world and puts it into one space bending entity. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Universe Sandbox 2, where it doesn't matter if science says it doesn't work because we're going to freaking do it anyway. Till the next time, folks, stay foxy. Much love.